the formidable robots. Way back in the summer of 2003, multiple cases of people being mauled to death by dogs were reported in Japan, all within the span of a month. When investigated, authorities noticed that the victims all had the same photo saved to their desktop named, in Japanese, beautiful smiling dog.jpg, that being a grainy image of a smiling Shiba Inu, the quality of which looked as if the picture was taken on an old camcorder. In fact, this was the only image file on the victim's computer, with all other images being found in the trash folder, if they weren't already permanently deleted. When the authorities checked the victim's computers, they noticed that all the victims posted the same image from before onto 2chan, all with different variations of the following text as the caption. Can you believe this beautiful dog is missing, so sad? Please spread the word so we can find her. All replies to the posts containing the image talked about the cuteness of the dog, be medically known as Dog, taking special note of her contagious smile, while other users complained about seeing the post about a million times over, noting that surely, this dog should have been found by now. Asides from that, the alleged cuteness of the dog and her smile lead many netizens across to Chan to download the image, hoping for it to bring a sense of comfort whenever they were sad. However, this would be the start of all their problems. Strange occurrences would start happening to the victims the longer they kept this image on their desktops. Bloodstained dog leashes, torn bags of kibble spilled on the ground, multiple stereotypical looking Japanese businessmen and women would be seen walking what seems to be the exact same dog of the victim's favorite breed within their hometown, and more odd dog related incidents would occur to victims with the image on their computer. If the victim lived in a more rural area, they may notice huge bite marks taken out of various crops in their area, if the crops in question weren't straight up ravaged beyond recognition, as if a rabid dog chowed down on the plants before vomiting them back into the soil. As the days since downloading the image would go on and the incidents increased in intensity, the image would begin to look off to the victim, almost uncanny valley-like, albeit they wouldn't be able to look away from the image. The image seemed to put the victims in a trance for hours at a time, even as the dog's smile began to distort and twist into something more grotesque. One of the victim's mothers, Aika Matsumoto, mother to Chikaro Matsumoto, would report that her son would sit in front of the computer during the later days of the image's presence on his desktop, hyperventilating with cold sweat dripping down his body. When she asked what was wrong, her son would only say incomprehensible gibberish, intertwined with the words, her smile, grotesque thing, and, she needs to find her owner. When she glanced over at the image he was looking at, the dog looked fine to her. In Aika's eyes, the image looked just like any other Shiba Inu you would see roaming the streets of Osaka. But to Chikero, it was like he was watching a video of all of his closest friends being individually slaughtered, one by one. By the fourth day of this behavior, she deleted the image from the desktop of Chikero, hoping it would solve his issues. However, the image seemed to have come back on his computer, having now become his wallpaper as he anxiously scrolled to Chan in a windowed view, his hyperventilating turning into fearful groans and yelps. Ika told Chikero to stop using his computer for a while, before calling the local mental hospital due to her fear that Chikero was slowly developing some form of schizophrenia or OCD. The very next day, Chikero was missing, even when it was time for her to drive him to the hospital. Ika panicked as the time went on, one hour becoming two becoming four becoming seven. She filed a missing persons report by the third hour, and the police came knocking on her door by the eighth. Aika, much like her son had been doing previously, began to sob and hyperventilate as the police informed her of Chikero's gruesome demise. Throughout the eight hours Chikero had been missing, he was seen frantically sprinting from the apartment complex where he and his mom lived all the way to Osaka, becoming visibly more sweaty and disheveled the longer he ran. Certain onlookers also noticed that he was being chased down by a disheveled dirty looking Shiba Inu that looked like it had lived its entire life rolling around in mud, the infamous foam of rabies surrounding its jaw. Although most of the details couldn't be made out due to how fast the dog was running, almost all of the onlookers noticed a disturbing lack of pupils in the dog's eyes, which seemed to glow brightly against the desaturated dirty appearance of the rest of the dog's body. As time went on, his sprinting became slower, 
panicking as he realized he wouldn't be able to outrun the dog. Eventually, the dog caught up to him. The citizens and tourists of Osaka screamed in terror as they witnessed the dog brutally maul Chikaro to death, certain onlookers vomiting as they watched the dog rip the skin off the face of poor Chikaro like a sticker. After about 10 minutes of the gruesome sight, the police arrived at the scene, but it was too late as Chikaro had already been brutally ripped to unrecognizable shreds of skin and muscle tissue by the dog. Before the police could try to shoot or otherwise calm down the dog, the Shiba Inu ran straight into the streets of Osaka with an eyeball of Chikaro in its mouth, before allowing itself to be hit by an incoming truck. The many victims of Beautiful Smiling Dog all have differences in their stories, some being more obvious than others, but almost all of them end up facing the same gory fate as Chikaro. Only a few people have been known to survive the maulings that mark the end of the curse of Beautiful Smiling Dog, but all of them are too traumatized to even recount the incident to even their closest friends and family members. Some of them commit suicide due to the trauma, while some others are rendered permanently disabled by the maulings. Survivors of the maulings aren't able to delete the image file on their computer even after surviving the mauling, causing nearly all of them to destroy their old computers and either get a new computer or stay away from technology entirely. Those who choose to keep their old computers note that while no more strange occurrences happen and they are able to use their computer as normal, they have to redownload all of the images they had before, which a lot of them don't get around to anyway as they tend to develop an extreme phobia of their computer and technology in general. Ever since the Mauling's original occurrences, the people of Tuchan have taken an odd liking to this urban legend, making fan art and creepypastas based off of it. On the other hand, many theories about the legitimacy of the curse and why it occurs have popped up. While some believe it to just be another more modern take on traditional yokai folklore, others truly believe this to have originated from the sorrowful spirit of a dog who died a few months prior, hoping to reunite with its owner one last time before it crosses the other side, albeit the dog can seem to remember its owner's face. Although years have gone by since the original incidents, the original image and its true form has been lost to time. Which leads one to wonder the following. What would actually happen if one were to download the image? Would everything the curse describes happen, or would it all turn out to be just another urban legend? I guess we'll never truly know.